Okay. Hi, Jane Brady here, chair of the Delaware Republican Party, and with us today is Lauren Whiskey, candidate for United States Senate in Delaware. Hello there, Lauren. Hi, Jane. Thank you so much for having me on today. Oh, glad to have you. So tell the people who are watching this a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I am a proud Delmar Wildcat, Goldie Beacom College graduate. Uh, I was raised here in Delaware, and uh, I'm, I'm just proud to be from Delaware. Uh, prior to my Senate run, I worked for Trump Victory out in Iowa. Uh, and prior to that, I was a program director for a long-term uh, residential faith-based recovery ministry called Teen Challenge, of which I was also a graduate from. Uh, this is one of the many things, my recovery, that has inspired me to run for office. Issues like, from what I saw, mass migration. Issues like the opioid epidemic that our political class has failed to address or even talk about. Um, these are issues that are affecting every av average everyday Americans. And um, these are what inspired me to run for office. And, and why the, the Senate? Why particularly the United States Senate? Okay, so U.S. Senator Chris Coons has absolutely failed the American people. He has uh, co-sponsored legislation that results in the displacement of hundreds of thousands of American U.S. workers. Um, not being able to have a job, not being able to take care of your family is a huge uh, underlying issue for drug addiction. Also, he's an open borders Democrat. He has obstructed President Trump every step of the way when it comes to border security or being able to fund the wall. Um, or even limiting migration. Uh, he is an open borders Democrat and these open borders policies are destroying America as we know it. It's breaking down our families, it's breaking down our social fabric. And uh, that's why I chose to run for US Senate. Um, also, you know, I have the team to do it. I have the fight in me to do it and take it to Chris Coons. Great. Um, apart from the uh, immigration and the opioid epidemic that you've talked about, what other issues do you hope to address if you are elected to the United States Senate? So also I will be addressing the issue of the breakdown of the nuclear family. Uh, this is also an issue that many in our political class have failed to address. Uh, we are now a global leader in single parenthood. And that's because big business has done a really good job. These big, uh, big government policies have um, incentivize the breakdown of the nuclear family. Uh, mothers lose their benefits should they choose to get married. I'd like to divert that money to incentivize marriage and family. Um, people do indeed respond to incentives and we can restore the American family. When our families are in crisis, our nation is in crisis. I'm also pro-life and I'm pro-Second Amendment as well. I'm a staunch conservative through and through, a staunch Christian conservative. And I'd really like to re-invite our, our values as Christians and conservatives into the political realm. Um, and that's what I'm fighting for. Great. Um, you uh, know that this is going to be broadcast on our YouTube channel, but it's also going to be sent to the delegates and alternates that are going to serve at our convention where you're going to seek their endorsement. Is there any special message you'd like to send to the delegates and all? Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch my video, first of all. Um, and I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you. Uh, you guys should know that I have also raised over $110,000 today, as of today, um, which I far outraised my opponent. Also, and more importantly, I've out campaigned him. Despite COVID-19, I have held over 50 campaign single campaign events and attended many others. We also uh, have been fighting against the, re the closure, the COVID-19 excessive lockdown measures. We have reopened a church um, in defiance of Governor Carney's state lockdown, and we've been in the face of Antifa and BLM as they des or destroy our cities. Um, so we have been fighting. Um, we have been getting our names out there. And more importantly, we've been shaking hands with Delawareans since January. We have met thousands of Del uh, Delawareans, both Democrat and Republican, who are absolutely sick and tired of the far left progressive agenda. We're pulling over the privatized union workers as well. And that is how we're going to win. We have the perfect campaign, the perfect strategy, and uh, the perfect platform to take on Chris Coons. All right, then. Lauren Whiskey, candidate for United States Senate on the Republican ticket. Uh, good luck to you, ma'am. Thank you.